Hi everyone, so this is my uh, very first attempt at making a little painting video. Um, oh my god, <laughs> I know it's not the best angle um, and I had to buy a, a, one of them camera stick things and shove it into an old pot. But I will learn a little bit more and this is kind of, um, um, it's quite good, I think it's called In Shot and it's a uh, sort of editing so obviously I don't really paint this fast but it is awful handy. Um, so what I'm doing here is just a very simple um, spring bunch and it's all just sort of wet um, onto watercolour paper. So if you do want to, I promise the videos will get better and we will do subjects and stuff and any little sort of things you want to do. Um, but uh, if you want to try and get yourself some watercolour paper, some watercolour paints and some brushes. Um, I, you know, nothing massively expensive, but nothing too cheap either, because that will just be frustrating. Frodo. Shush, Frodo. I'm making the video. Um, so yeah, so some kind of, uh, I quite like that watercolour paper. It's in a little booklet. Um, you can either get an A4 or an A3. And these paints are, they're kind of more expensive, but the, you could get a pan, which is like a little set, or you could get individual ones. The set is probably handy, though. The great thing about watercolours as well, shush, Frodo. Sorry, people. I should throw the doggies out <laughs> when I'm talking next time. But you can see it's just really, it's really quick. Um just you know came from the old imagination and um it can make a very nice uh, little gift for somebody that um needs to be cheered up i think we all need a bit of cheering up but i look forward to doing these and like i said i'll play around a bit with it before i uh you know get professional um so yeah bear with me and if you've any questions on, oh look at that's better i moved it that way if you've any questions on um maybe where to get things or cork art supply um is a great shop and evans and um you if you have a local shop as well sg and sligo sg arts um so yeah so there we go just adding a bit of detail there that's kind of more dry paint and then it just sort of blends into the wet. But there are different terms. I'm no expert, <laughs> but, you know, yeah, it looks lovely.